Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Instructor Phil here. Give me a second here. I'm getting my page all uh, put together here. Sorry about that. I thought I had it stretched out and I guess I didn't. Let me get it exactly within the diameter here. There we go. Perfect. Now we can see what we're working on. Okay, welcome back. So um, I wanted to do a demo. Sorry this took a couple days to get up, but I've just been incredibly busy. So I'm doing this this weekend. Started it and uh, I'm just going to put it all together here. So I went through, this is what I had last time. Oops, give me a second here. Uh, so this is what I had last time right here. Those are the sketches I finished, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I wanted to show you, I did some silhouettes and then I went into my silhouettes and I started doing some just roughs, figuring out some construction. Not a ton of detail, figured out a direction to go. And then something that I like to do is now I like to go back over what I've done and then define a more, push and exaggerate the shape. So I'm really, refining them, bringing out a little bit more definition, and definitely pushing the shapes. And so I wanted you guys to do a minimum of three per character, and that's at a minimum, okay? So um, minimum standard is like, you know, a C average. So if you want, if you get the time to do five each, that might be a good idea. The more successful you are in pushing shapes right now over your construction and your rough, the better off your overall design is gonna be. Okay, so here are the ones that I picked, and I'm gonna start to draw over these. I thought I'd just show you, I picked two silhouettes that I wanted to go back into to see where I end up with, okay? And then after I do these, I have um, these two guys that I liked and I wanna go back in, there, back in and draw on top of these guys. Let me move this guy a little bit closer. So I will be using Sketchbook Pro, it's up to you. Uh, I have this, oops, I have this software and it's really convenient, it's a lot of fun. I really like it, I think it's great for drawing and I really haven't found, even if I use um, another software application like Photoshop, which is still great, and I draw with that, but just this really mimics pencil really fantastically. So I like the sketch with this. Let me enlarge them just a little bit more and then move them, oops, move them over just a teeny bit more. I want them a little bit bigger. There we go. That's cool. Okay. And um, then next, I had these right here. Okay. Let's see if they come up. There they are. Okay, so those those are sort of my sketches. So again, I'm taking my rough construction here. I'm going to come back and start to draw on top of them. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start over here. Let's start with our silhouette studies. Obviously, I'm not going to have them that black because I can't see my line. So I'm going to lower down the opacity of the layer to something about that. I'm going to come back with another line up here on top. And again, um, I'm going to. This is where I start really pushing my shapes and figuring out where I'm going to end up. So I have right here a total of six characters. Um, that I want to draw over at a minimum. Okay, I don't want to do just, I gave you guys a minimum of three, but you know, like I said, guys, it's competitive out there. The more time and effort you put into your designs, the better off you're going to be. Okay, so here, let me start with this guy right here, and I'm just going to start sketching and see where I end up. One of the things I liked about this sketch, and the reason why I wanted to go into it, is I really like the thought of this character's eyes popping up and breaking part of his shell in here. I thought it, it could be pretty funny that maybe he has uh, these like huge, you know, like turtle eyes and they're almost like giant eyes that resemble that of like a lizard of some kind, let's say, okay? So I just get in here and start sketching and see where I end up, okay? And Imagining that shell wraps around over. So I'm using all the construction that's underneath and I'm just piecing together, trying to figure out how I want to design my guy here. Okay. And then what's cool is I can come back on top of this drawing. I am, look at this, I'm gonna sorta, that was getting a little flat there, so I'm gonna make sure if I have a center line, I wanna get that center line coming up like so. So if I come in here and really start to push that shape popping up, I might get that center line right in there and then I might drop part of that down. So that's again, one of the fun parts of doing this is really getting to get in there and see how your design is flowing. I like this thick here around the corner. Let me see if I can spin this antique here. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Um, just trying to flip it upside down here a little bit. I like it how it gets thick to thin in there. That's pretty cool, okay? like those large eyes developing, and then maybe where the center mass is here. So if you had a center line that goes down, down in here, when I get down in here, maybe he has to have another, he has to have something that connects his lower segment 
of his body from like here through here. So let me see if I can just sort of come in here and there we go, get something coming across. Now that's going to be overlapped though, so I'm going to lightly erase because that leg is going to be coming out here. And again, I'm pushing shapes right now. So I'm going from, let's say a thin foot to a wide leg like this. So I'm going to see if I can push that shape a little bit more. Same thing in here. And I come in there and get that about the same distance. And then I'm going to see if I can push that leg out a little bit more like so. And maybe he's just got these little teeny nails, right? No, why not? Little teeny sort of nails right in there. That's another one, one there. Okay. And same thing, I get back in here. I like that flow, that rhythm I have now that's coming down off the back. I want to see if I can keep that flow. Same principles, right? When you guys are studying in your figure drawing class, talk about energy and movement of the pose. And so I, I really want to keep that flow in there. Let me see if I can come back here now and go thick and then really get that to sort of thin down here a little bit like so. Okay, that's pretty cool, I'm liking that. And then I have this inside leg here, so I'm gonna figure out, draw through, right? On the other side here, that other leg is gonna be somewhere about there. So if I have that elliptical shape here, on the other side, I could guess that that's about there. So if I were to sketch this in, maybe it's coming forward, this other leg. It's dropping down similar to about where I have it but then I might make it, maybe it needs to be a little, a lot thicker, like so. Like that, all right? And again, I just like to come in here now. I like to, I'm just gonna draw a couple lines over the shape to get that form sort of wrapping in a couple spaces. Not gonna do it in equal consistencies. I wanna have a little bit of variation in there. And, you know, I let's see if I can put an eyeball in there or a face and see what develops. Eyes are fantastic and we haven't really had a chance to talk about eyes much yet, but you know, when I get in here, I'm gonna do this on another layer. You know, I could just have one single eye like this and really make a large eyeball, and it's gonna change the look of the character compared to, hold on a minute, I shouldn't have done that. Let me just do it like this. One second, add another layer here. Versus here, if I do something like this, I'll just leave a little white highlight in there. Gets the eye to pop a little bit, right? See, now he has sort of a younger eye. And so big, fat, round, happy eyes, right, are going to make my character look a little bit younger versus if I come over here and if I turn that off and I go back and just smaller little eyes are going to make them look a little bit older. So that's something to think about in part of your design process. Okay, absolutely. Okay, eyes do affect part of the age. Um, this guy is sort of like him with that large sort of eye like that. And I could even change that and move it a little bit more. But let me just come in here. I need to figure out how that, I like that shape sort of coming down and I need to figure out if he's just gonna have, I was imagining like maybe he just has a little jaw that connects like that or what if he, or I could just simplify it. What, you know, there's a couple options here. Look, I could just take this line and bring it down and connect it and then just sort of lightly erase this center line here. Now hold on a minute, I'm gonna commit to this. I'm gonna drop this layer down. So let me say merge this down, look below, okay. All right, and let me merge that back down too, like so, okay? So again, I have a couple options that I could do here. Look, I could do that, and if I do that, see it opens up a little bit of his face, okay? Which isn't bad, or I can, part of me thought of pushing like a really tight little jaw on there that maybe mimics his face. I don't know, I sort of like what I had, but let me just try something else here. Thought of doing something like that too, where it gets a little bit of a point in there. That's all right, let's just stay rough and keep it. Let me just back up to where I had it. Okay, let's go back a couple steps and right there. Let's just say I leave them like that because I sort of like the fact that it's, this is, there's a little bit of overlap in there like that. So that sort of comes down a little bit, okay. Um, maybe I can see a little bit, maybe he has a little bit of a middle point like so, okay. He has a couple little lashes that pop out here. Okay, so you get the point. I'm just defining him. And again, I'm, st I'm staying rough, right? S stay really rough, be happy. Put some light little shapes in here. Okay. I don't wanna go too far right now. I'm just, you know, diving in, sketching, just having a good time. See where it, it takes me, so I don't know. And that's good, you know, I have something definitely there that I could build off of, and now I can come back 
on another pass and really start to push some of those shapes a little bit more and see where it takes me. And what's cool about that is, let me just turn it off real quick, you know, that's what I had a couple minutes ago, see? And that's the benefit to me as a designer is I'm pushing my designs, I'm taking them across from the very beginning, going to another level, you know? So now I have something that's defined that I could definitely start drawing on top of and I could add all kinds of details, you know? Maybe this guy has like lower part of his of his feet here are like a little softer and then all this part up here is more of a texture let's say so maybe I say to sketch in some little ideas like this okay so maybe I do the same thing here I mean this is where you start to have fun with it and you can add some little details on there like that and then back here there we go and see, that does a lot to sort of bring them alive a little bit, you know. It, it adds some more detail. And I like that idea of separating, you know, now that I have the construction happening, now I'm starting to think about how do I separate little parts of texture on the face. I have the shell. Even on the face, if you go back and look at the reference, some of this, like the nose area, so like in here, all the way down into here, that could be more of a hard shell, right? So now I can, I can complement part of that flowing curve in there, and then I can come in here start to put a couple little circles maybe they're a little bit wider down here and then they get a little smaller and then a little smaller and then they just sort of fade off right there's nothing wrong with doing that I can get in there and those are some of those features that are going to really allow me to define him up a little bit more okay and then I can come back and we'll push some shapes a little bit more alright I probably didn't need that in there but let me undo that. Seeing what the flow is, okay? So that's cool. I like how he's developing a little bit in here. Okay. I did think he's got to have a little nubbin tail. Maybe he's got a little tail that sort of pops out the back. I don't know. Something for fun, right? So there it is. There's my first pass. Boom. Now what am I going to do? Let's go over and do another one. Let's go over here. And we'll take a look at this guy, okay? So again, started from nothing and I ended up something. And part of that is that I have the structure there. Once you get, once you do this numerous times and you've been doing it for six months or a year, you skip a couple of these steps because you're much more comfortable with your understanding of form and construction and pushing and pulling shapes. But for right now, some of you guys are newbies and you've never been taught how to work from silhouettes and how to push your design process and move it forward. So that's what we're really trying to cover. This is an introduction to character design class and there's nothing wrong with really diving in this and exploring this way. It's a good way for a basic artist to sort of approach their design um, their, excuse me, to approach their overall design, I'd say problems or, or ideation or format because, you know, your goal is to come up with really great designs and if you haven't been drawing for a long time, you don't know the steps to do, it's going to be a little hard. And the thing is, is that I do this on ships, I do it on environments, on characters. I sit down and I work with my shapes, I do my designs, I push and pull and I keep going and next thing you know when I'm at like number sketch number 20 or 21 and I've been thinking small, okay, and then I work big later. I don't work big and you know, it's it, it, that's a waste of time. I draw and sketch small and figure out my design solutions up front and I save myself a ton of time and come up with better designs a little bit later, okay. So let me pause for just a second. And then we'll come back and we'll start this guy right here. Let me save my file. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Just uh, had to stop there for a second and save. Okay, what I liked about this silhouette and why I wanted to keep it is I like that like prehistoric shell look that's starting to happen here. And I like these sort of angled uh, look and feel I'm starting to get out of, out of this character in here. So I want to see if I can come in here and find a way to maybe push some of this a little bit more and see where it, it takes me in my design. Um, you know, and it again, it might be, I might have a successful outcome. I might not have a successful outcome. That's totally fine. What's important is that I get in here and I try it and I see where I end up. All right, I mean, doing a lot of talking and I just want to sit and draw for a little bit, you know. Turtles don't have teeth, but it could be pretty neat if this guy did have some teeth that sort of came down a little bit. Maybe not. I 
I'm not getting a vibe on him. I'm just, I think I'm too busy talking and Let me back up there. So I'm not getting what I want coming out of this guy. So, you know, it's a benefit of digital, right? Just start over a little bit and get to something that I did like. I like that curve in there. So still not happening, right? That's okay, you know? Uh, and this is the benefit of doing these these little demos. I spend three minutes to figure out the shapes that I want via the shapes that I don't want. You know, I and then after I erased it, I realized I lost part of that huge, like, goiter that I had here, this huge lump here. So let me see if I can come back and focus a little bit more on that. I did imagine he had maybe a lower jaw that was a little bit lower that came in there. Let me see. Let's see if I can get that to work in there. I'm going to take out that eyeball too. I shouldn't have put that in there yet. Uh oh, where's my little drawing thing? Did I cover it? Oh, where'd it go? Okay, sorry about that. I stopped for a minute. Okay. To get that shell to really have some nice angles in it. It's not bad. I'm sort of liking the way that he's developing because I can get this really sort of old looking. Uh, 
Um, let me change this. I keep going back and forth on that lower jaw there because I sort of like it being plain, but I want to put something there. And But I like that goiter that's in there, you know, I like that round part of the neck. So maybe I just need to simplify it. Uh, see, that's all right. I'm stuck. That's all right. I know that I'm stuck on a design concern right now. I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to move it. Let's just leave them alone like that for right now because I want to get some other details in there that might tell me a little bit more about his face. Sort of has a little bit of a bird face, you know, but that's okay. Right? All right, anyway. You guys obviously have been talking, understand what part of the process here is. This is the exploring, pushing and pulling and see where we end up. Okay, so you can see in the sketch now I had that leg coming up this way. That's not going to work whatsoever because the, the back of the shell is right here. So that leg has to connect and come, or maybe that shell rounds a little bit, let's say. And maybe the shell comes out a little bit more like that. Okay, and then that maybe the, there's a little bit of the shell as it goes, works its way up. Maybe the shell does that type of thing. So it might change what I had in the center here just a little bit. Maybe I have more of a plate like that. And then there's an outside plate there as well. Okay, there's nothing wrong with changing it, getting the design to, to work a little bit more. All right. Okay. And I still need to push the shapes in that face, but that's okay. I got a good, good place to jump from, you know? Maybe he's got like a big old furry eye, eyebrow tops, right? he's an older turtle so let me see if I come back in here and get some of that coming out the other side and maybe where that is too he's got like these little bumps up here he's got some fur hanging off the top of his head as well right Got a couple little pieces coming from his nose. I don't know. So he's a turtle that's got little bits of fur on him, right? He could be. Okay. All right. Let's let's wrap this guy up here real quick. Bring that leg back. Okay. All right, that's cool. That's a pass. So, you know, done. I'm going to move from there. Let's go over the next couple ones. Okay, that's good. And you know what? I could already feel I'm starting to get loosened up, and I'm having some fun in here. So um, let's just keep going and see where we end up. I like that nose, the hair. It's like a nasty old grandpa turtle with long hair coming out of his nose. And I don't know. It gets a little too busy, but, you know, that's all right. Let's see what, see what we end up with next. Okay, those are the, for these guys here. 
So it's cool because I like being able to see, you know, the, the differences. But that's where we started and that's what we ended up with. You know, and I, I really like this guy over here. He's starting to develop. This guy needs more work. He needs some more passes. That's fine. And I really need to, to push the shapes a little bit more. But I'm getting there in due time, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll hide these guys. Let's go up and go to the next one here. Turn this one on here. All right, so let's draw on top of these guys. Let me add another layer. All right. Um, I like the the shapes of the shells on these, and that's why I decided to pick these guys, as I like how they were sort of different, and how they were, you know, being a little distorted and the angle at what they were going. And I also liked this guy's face a little. It's just sort of different and has these curves. And this guy has like this huge lower section to his mouth and maybe it sort of looks up so but let's see where they develop but definitely you know what when i was sketching these the, the energy that i i saw or felt in the sketch that took me to this was that shell shape just sort of popping up like that you know it's just different it's very distorted um let me see what i can do with i like how there's a little rim on the shell so i need to see if this and I like that shape, how we go from here, and then we get a little bit thinner. So maybe I need to really push that and get them really thin up in there to really get them to pop a little bit. And then that little edge of that shell that sort of comes over here, maybe it does the same thing as it's real thick. And as that shell comes back and wraps around, that's coming through here. And then it's getting thinner and thinner until it gets back and then it wraps. And then this rounds out and comes out of there like so, right? And then this almost sort of circles back around here. There's a so now you can get that feel of we go here and there's a lip and then you go over, right? And that's what I was wanting to get in there and I sort of like how that's progressing now. Um I'm looking up under him a little bit so I'm gonna be able to see part of that maybe that shell just sort of rounds like this and then I can see under it like so. Okay. And let me figure out that face. I like how it comes back to there, but that doesn't make... Well, that could make sense. He could have a big wide gap in there. And maybe he has the lower section like this. So it comes through. That could work. Fine. And so then that comes down and bends. And then it bends here. I really like that angle of that head. Okay, and for eyes, gosh, I was thinking of a couple different eyes. I thought, what if his eye stayed inside? And like a little shiny eyebrow. Whatever. Nah. Also like the maybe his eyes are just a little. He's got a little cover, and then he's just got this little eye that sits in the back. It's like a little bumps. Okay. Still don't like those. I'm gonna have to sketch out and figure out his eye shape because um that's going to have a lot there's really limited room up there and i need to find a good solution for how his his face sort of comes together and i haven't quite got to that yet so if i have a center line that goes there what if you had a spike it sort of comes through that might break it up a little bit because then we could have one side here that has like a little eye and then up here Maybe his eyes right in here. Like that. You might have that little spike that keeps them separate. I sort of like that because it's a different shape. It's an opposing shape to that sort of round, curvy shape that's in there. He's got a couple little teeth. Okay. My dad was a prehistoric turtle. OK. 
Okay. And center line. And if this comes up to the body, maybe his feet end here. And then he has sort of one of those little fat lines there, right? And I'm going to give him these like elephant feet. They curve out a little bit and they're sort of pushed. He's got a nail there. He's got a nail in there and one right there. Okay. He's cool. I like him a lot. I think he's he's young and looks different. And he's got really small eyes. He looks a little naive. Yeah, I'm liking him a lot. He can be a lot of fun. I don't make him little eyelashes there, but maybe not. Let's leave that alone. He's got his little nose there. Okay. And these sort of triangle patterns I have in here, I want to keep, but I want to round the edges so they don't feel too intimidating, right? They're too hard. It might make them look very menacing, and I don't want that. Maybe a little bit of a round in there, round the edges. Okay. Cool. I hear that little noise in the background. That's my fan. It's pretty hot today. It's like starting to get humid and nasty. I think it's supposed to rain later this evening. But, okay. That's cool. That's another pass. I like how he's developing. Whole other guy is coming alive. Um, I don't want that to be the same thickness, though. I like how it's went from thinner to like thicker. Maybe I should keep that same. Sort of in the back here. And his other leg maybe goes across this way. We can't see it because it gets overlapped in there. Okay, there we go. That's another cool little pass. All right, let's jump over and go over to the next guy. Okay, let's see what we're going to do with this guy here. Definitely like that large. Let me see how we're going to get him to come, come to life. Maybe they're like brothers or something. They don't like that eye. It's too similar to the other guy's eye. It's not quite fitting him.
Yeah, it's too much of the dog, I think, right there. Let's take that out. Let's come back. Okay. Just keep going. Keep pushing. like the shape in there quite a bit. Uh, I don't know why I did that little thing over the eyes. I just thought that could be a way to... Actually, his eyes aren't really connecting, so I should... Let's see if I can go back and take that out. How far did I go? Right there. Cool. I thought the, com the quarter was going to lock up there. Okay. All right. Shell. Um, center line. Center line down there in the middle, so I know he's not at a complete side view. Um, now I'm second guessing his face. Yeah, I know. I started doing the body, and now I'm like, eh, I want to change something. Something isn't quite working there yet. So I'm going to take that out. We'll come back to that. Okay, come back to him in just a minute. Figure out the rest of the shape. I want to get his body in there. He's cool. without hitting the mic a little bit. Get a nice curve in here. I think the recorder's starting to lag a little bit in here. I don't know. I feel really rusty today. I can't quite get into this. I'm trying, guys, but I'm just not hitting my mark. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's... I know what it is. It's probably stress. Because I've been stressed out about work and some other stuff, trying to balance everything. Okay, let's go back in there. Yeah, I wasn't liking that. Um, oops, I just did something. I don't know what I did. Was he racing? Oh, I know what I did. I put in that, that thing. There's no one in there. You know what? I think I need to just keep his face back to where it was. Lower. was bugging me. Let's see if that gets I like that much lower up here in his face there, right? It's a lot lower. Um, I don't want that point though. He's round and happy. So let's take that out. Maybe he's just got a little bump here on it, the chin. And it's like made up in two parts or something. I can figure that out. Let me go back. Sorry. Got to find that solution in there. Get that angle right. All right, so I'm botching that up, and that's all right. So when I botch something up completely, I just need to start over on it. Just part of that face in there. It's just I keep drawing over it, and I'm not getting the shapes that I want. And then I'm getting, like, little 
bits of drawings on top of other drawings and that's not working. There, I like that a lot more. A little bit around and then it comes up sort of high and maybe that center line that comes up there. Maybe it looks like he's got a little hard to cheat and give him a little nose, let's say, in there. Okay, yeah, much better, right? Maybe that line needs to start in a little bit more like that and then come back in and come up to there. Okay, that's cool. It's working a little bit easier for me, right? That's all right. Again, it's the process, right? Maybe this, and I could cheat. I know turtles don't have ears. Maybe he's got like little ears and that's why people make fun of him. Why not? Okay. No, that's a little too furry. I was thinking if he had something light coming off of there. Yeah, guys, I'm not... It's funny, I'm, I feel like I'm not hitting my mark today. I feel very uh, rusty and... Uh-oh. Come on, where's my drawing? All right, let's try to finish this off. I do like the curves, very organic. I still want to go back. Now I'm going to have to go back and go over his face a couple more times. So maybe I'll pause and I'll do that and I'll show you guys what I come up with. Okay, let me get some other, I like those contour shapes for wrapping around that shell. Okay, all right, let me pause and I'll be right back. Actually, you need to save. I've been drawing or sketching here for about 40 minutes. And um, about 10 minutes on each, and I need to uh, pause real quick. So I'll be right back. So that way I save it and it's backed up. Okay, guys, welcome back. I uh, saved my file, and I did something else too, which is really important. Is I just took a little break and I walked away come back with a fresh set of eyes and I realized coming back how I don't need to add anything down in here on my character I really don't I in fact I like the idea that he has just these large cheeks and maybe he just has a little jaw underneath so I noticed after leaving that I was able to sort of turn this off and look at my characters and see how they're working and I could just leave them just the way that they are I don't have to get in there and I realized that part of that underdrawing was showing through a little bit so the, again, that was a benefit of just, you know, I did, I sketched out an idea like this maybe and thought he could have something like that, but that gives him a little bit more age and starts to look like a goatee. So I decided to take that off. And then I just sort of realized like, you know, when I came back, um, I don't need to have anything. He can just have this, this, this overlaps part of his face. Maybe from another view, we just see a little bump sort of in the middle like that. That's all I have to do is I could just leave him plain and simple like that. He might have this weird sort of nose. And then I can get in there later and then maybe um, push some other shapes or put some other little details in there or whatever or not. Just leave it simplify. So, you know, hey, take a break, come back, sort of find my solution, you know. And uh, that's what I was sort of was wanting to happen, and it did. And so I, I like this guy. So now I'm, I'm just going to take step away. And again, that's a benefit, you know, working on something for 35 minutes talking and then walk away, take a break, and it uh, looks a lot better. Okay, so here, let's, uh, that's, again, let's take a look. That's where I started, and that's where I've defined them. So I'm really pretty happy with what's happening here. I'm getting some cool shapes, and, um, you know, once I, having these shapes in here, it allows me to really come back and think about, if I open them up again, how I can push them up a little bit further. Okay, let me just put a little bit of a toe in there, like so back there all right cool okay and let's take a look let's go to the next set okay let's see what these guys are here they are there's the rough of them let's put a layer on top and let's sketch for a little bit and see what we end up with 
And it's funny, um, I, I have to do these demos. I like doing these demos for class. I don't have to do them, but I think they're an important part. But what's funny is that as I dive into them, I feel myself loosening up. And usually when I'm working, whether it be a digital sculpting in Maya or whatever, an hour is about my break in time. And, I, and I've and i really noticed that. And once I hit that hour mark, I really start to break in. So that sort of makes sense that if I were to continue past this demo, that's just knowing myself as an artist and the way that my progression works, that's going to be part of my my immediate, you know, break in time. And I'll start to get some better designs coming out. Okay. Now, I, I did have the idea that maybe his mouth was a little open and he's talking a little. Arr. Really taking advantage of pushing these these shapes in here. Okay. And I like how his eyes are much larger in here than, um, and how they overlap and then the neck sort of inserts itself in the back there. I think that was pretty cool. That was lucky um, part of the sketch there. And you know what, This he since he is a little bit old, older, maybe he does have a little bit of a goiter that sort of comes back in here and then this drops down and then connects here. But that wouldn't make sense that it goes larger to smaller. So I'm thinking what I need to do is erase part of that line fix that and then where his shell overlaps here in the middle like so um, maybe bring him his neck from here and then bring him in thinner like that or something maybe that's a better approach for getting those lines in there okay Center lines in there. There we go. Makes him look a little bit older. And he's got a little, a little like a little wart or whatever right there. And then he's got these little hairs that come off. So I already when I was working on this guy before, I mean, I already had that feel. I think I mentioned that in the first demo that I felt him being a little bit older. You know, part of me wants to come in at the end there and put a pair of glasses on him. So maybe I'll do that towards the end. Okay. And I want to get that in there. Again, I want to push darks against light. So I thought if I have that little area there, I could maybe fill it with some type of a cool texture like that. And then where that dips down and comes in under here, maybe I can do sort of the opposite is bring it from wide and then have it get a little smaller in here. And that will allow me to get a nice little texture grain going. Okay, on them. And then maybe he also has some other contour lines that sort of wrap around. Okay, that's cool. See, I like the way he's coming out. I like those points and those angles, you know, and he's, um, what if he had like a stump for a leg, right? He has some history, you know, that could possibly work for him. And I really like that dent right here, how it dents in and comes back out. That's a fun shape. So I'm going to try that. What if I come back here? He's been around, right? And what if I, I'm trying to think of how I would mount it on, but... What if the dude, he's got like a wooden, let me put a notch in it so it feels like a piece of wood. Maybe he's got a little wooden stump on him. I don't know if you're, someone's going to get that visual read of that. 
Maybe it's tied on. I don't know. Put some wood grain on it or something. Okay. And let's give them a nice, make the toes thin. Again, trying to get some nice angular shapes in there. I like those a lot. All right. Now the shell, this is where I didn't draw through the shape last time. That shell wouldn't come out to here. So maybe that shell might come down and angle and end right about here like this. But then that's going to, this line's going to connect from there to there if you see that. So, excuse me. So I have to draw that through and make sure that's correct. And looking right now, they went way past there and that is not, accurate whatsoever so and then let me get that other foot now I need to I think I need to make the other foot a little bit wider because if it connects from here and it's, I know it's a little bit smaller and since I am it is character design I could force shorten them a little bit more and just sort of play with their their shapes right so that's cool you know I like the way he's developing put a little bit of a center line on there wrap a couple other lines around this to see if I can give this a little bit more don't make them all the same thickness. Try to have some variation there. Okay, that helps to wrap a little bit. You know what's funny is I'm taking a, uh, a maquette sculpture class with the awesome Vin Ting and um, really cool, talented guy. And um, it'd be cool to like figure out that shape. You know, look at this shape. It's sort of, maybe see if I can wrap a line, like drop a piece of yarn on it. It sort of goes up here, wraps down, comes around there. And then this is sort of like this, right? And let's see if I, by doing that, now if I come in here and I add any other, um, you know, I didn't do the back leg. Let's do the back leg. I hope that's not too bad of a read that he's only got a wooden leg in the back, you know? That's okay, maybe he's got a tail. All right, and I want to, the, the shapes I'm going to put in here, I want to accentuate the form of what's happening in here. So, you know, if I put that, that diamond shape in here, let me try to get it to match along the center line there. So now if I have another line going this way, like I did here, I want that to match the form that's in there. So now if I have another one going this way, I want it to match part of that transition, right, that's happening in there. And then as shapes get up here, they might bend back up. So they might do something like this. Drop down a little bit, right? Okay. All right. And let's go one or two small shapes and get that in there. There we go. So that's good. I like the way that he turned out. Um, <laughs> I know it looks stupid, but I'm sort of liking that wooden leg, you know. Something happened to him. Okay. And I really like that point that he has in there. Okay, that's cool. That's leading me to another shape. Now let's see what we can do with this guy here. Um, hmm. Let's figure out. He has a weird low brow with a squashed face. He might be a little bit harder to, to dive in there. And I sort of had this. Let me see if I can get an eye in there. Uh-oh, what did I do? Hold on a minute. I'm working and I clicked something on my mouse there. Let me see what window. Oh, it's just the layer editor. That was an accident. That's all right. Let's keep going.
So I decided to put that little turtles to have that little indent there, right? Okay, maybe his comes down a little. You know what, that could be really cool on him. I just thought of something. If I bring that line down like that, and then he looks like he's sort of looking up a little bit. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then we're sort of looking under, and he's got these just lower eyes casting on him. That's sort of his head ball shape in there, right? So the other eye is back here. Um, you know, it also gave me an idea. I can make that a female turtle if I put, like, lips on the front. Maybe just leave it the way it is. Yeah, take that part off. That's cool. Just like that. I like that. Almost like he's popping up a little bit, you know. Bring that shell piece up. Let me see if I can get this. Oops, that was my hand slipping on the Cintiq. Okay. Let's rest that shape in a little bit more. Sort of try to stylize those feet a little bit more, keep the toes inside the uh, the outline. Before, see here, I had them protrude out. Now I'm going to just keep them in. And then where that line comes down for the chest there, I want to have that continue through part of the shape, right? That's part of the underneath of this guy here. I like that little bit of texture under that part of the face right there. And let's take that line off. Just leave it. Okay, that's cool. I'm liking that. Let's get this other leg down off from the inside there. Now, I did have the shell, and that could still work. See, this could come along here. And the other part of the shell could wrap around there. That creates a little bit more, that, that, you know, we could see that opposite side. Let me see then if I do that. Let me erase this line here. And if I wrap that with a little bit of a rubber band, like I'm looking upward at it like that, let's say I could see that on the other side. See that? And then if I, if I do a light crosshatch on that guy and bring it over, That could be something that sort of matches up on our guy here. Okay. Couldn't vary the size a little bit more in him, but that's fine for right now. Oops, sorry. Hit my, swinging my Cintiq around and hitting everything on my desk.
There we go. Is that back leg right? Might not see that as much. And um, let's get this other side in here. There we go. I, I like that guy a lot. I like that thin head. That'd be a fun guy to push. So, man, I'm having fun with this. Such a good time. I want to be a student again. Well, I am. I go to grad school. That's, I guess that's okay. And let me get a nice center line, a side axis line, just to give that little bit of shape running over, casting. And I did like the idea. Maybe this guy has this cool, I like this, like, wrapping thing that I was doing here where, like, little bits of information are wrapping over. So let me see if I can add to that a little bit. What if his shell does that, too? So... Look, I got to look at what his shell's doing here. It might wrap up over and then go and curve down up over. And I could wrap that that shape out a little bit. This one might come over and then stop. Like that. And this one might be a little bit closer. And a little bit thinner. Okay, and let me get a nice, good, sweeping line. Let me see if I can rotate this guy a little bit. Maybe his tail comes down a little bit more like that. All right, and let me see here. Let's, uh, what can I do on this? I want to wrap a line up here like that, and then down, like trying to get that right angle of drawing this with my hand in here. And I'm getting some similar spacing, so I'm saying I'm going to thin that up and then pinch it a little bit more like that to have a little bit of difference, a little bit of variation in there, right? And that could be a lot of fun when I go into color and I pass on that. I can make some of those stripes offset just a little bit different if I want. Okay. Get this inside line here. So, I mean, look at the difference. I mean, I had a rough shape, and now I'm really just sort of defining my guy up a little bit. And he's, you know, I'm really getting some character out of there. So, it's not just the shape. I mean, look at the difference, right? Let's take that off, you know. I, mean, I could keep some of the rough under there to look at it. That's totally fine. But I'm really starting to push the way my characters are developing. And, you know, that's. Look at that. I mean, I, I got rid of that shape here. Oops, wrong layer. My bad. I, you know, I didn't use that shape. I brought the chin down over here. I got rid of all that. I got rid of that ex that excess. I extended part of this out. So, you know, I'm finding that happy medium with what I'm doing. Okay. And so the last thing I would do here is let's see. I want to see if I could. I have these all pretty good size. They're 200 uh, DPI right now. So I might leave them so I could paint on them. But might copy and paste them and put them on one sheet so we could look at all of the designs and see where I've gone from there. Then, if you're a stud, you go over that sheet again and define those guys a little bit more. Okay? I'll be right back. Let me stop the recording just for a second. Okay, I just uh, put all of them together here on one page so you can see them. And then what I'm doing really quick is I'm just coming in here with a gray. Again, Sketchbook Pro, right? Just hitting this gray underneath. That way... It allows me to see a little bit more of the silhouette of the character. I really like this. This is something I do. If I do sketch for a client and I want to show somebody something, I always do this. I never just show it white on white. White on white is butt, ass, ugly, and you shouldn't do it. It just doesn't look right. It's not good presentation. At least now, um, when they look at this, then I just take the eraser and I just go around the outside like so, right? And take away any of that overspray on there. And I erase the eyes. I like to keep the eyes white. I think that looks really nice. Um, for presentation and you can see I mean I'm pretty happy with five of them uh, one of them I don't like and I might even redo it while we're here I just looking at it and I just I guess when I was getting into it I think I was having some hard um, decisions on it now I can really jump in here and I could push a couple of the shapes a little bit more but I just wanted to show you how I tone them in I think I did this on another demo too already but it's just you know it's really simple just taking that marker that Copic marker 
which are great in Sketchbook Pro, unlimited ink, and they don't cost $14 each, right? Um, and I could just come right here underneath it real quick and I can fill it in. And if I want to, I can even do a secondary fast pass. And I'll show you what that is here in just a minute. Sometimes I like to do that because now I'm sort of adding other elements to the, the design. I'm adding graphic shapes and elements along with some of the shapes, right, that are in there. So let me show you what my fast pass would be. This is the one in the left-hand corner here that I'm a little iffy on still. So what I'm going to do is let's go back, since we're just doing this as a demo here, and it's the weekend and I can draw a little bit longer, I'm going to go back in and redraw that guy, that guy really fast. So let me go find that curmudgeon silhouette shape that I have. I think it was right here. There it is. It was that one right there, and I got that weird sort of... You know, I got this guy here in the corner, and I just don't like him. So let's redo him real quick. Let me add another layer up above. Let's come back on top of it real fast here. There we are. And let me just drop that down a little bit more. And I'm going to re-sketch him and see if I can come up with maybe a better solution. Just try to do this really quick. All right. Let's add a little drink of water there. Okay. So let me let me try this. I, I saw this shape in here, and I want to see if I can get it to come alive maybe a little bit more. The shape I was looking at was this eye shape, and then it, maybe it wraps on that side. And then he's got this sort of beefy forehead. Maybe he eats a lot. He's got, like, stuff hanging from his teeth or something in there. Uh-oh. Hold on, I did it again. My uh, Cintiq is that... Um, I think, what did I get rid of this time? Oh, just the layer editor. No worries. I like to keep that open, though. Nah, that's not working. That's not fitting in there whatsoever. That guy's tough. You know what that means? He might become a really great character. Because I might end up drawing something in here that I never really thought of before. And that's really cool. Because, you know, I might get something. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. He's got this... He's like chewing on stuff, right? Maybe he's got a little tooth coming out there. Maybe a little guy over here. And then maybe I need to sketch the other side of that eye right in there. Okay. It's got little teeth coming out. Yeah, I'm starting to like this guy a lot. Maybe his nose is a little bit wider there. And it comes under and his other eyes on this other side, like so. Okay. Now let's really pull that down. Make him look like he's part alligator. Yeah, I like that, maybe. But let's wrap it around that end. Oh, I like the way he's turning out. Not sure if I like that eye yet. That's the personality, right? When you get those eyes in there. So. I mean, that's going to be really... Also, I don't like... See, I'm wanting to push and pull that thickness a little bit. So maybe this part stays thicker, and then it gets thinner. So maybe I need to work on pushing that. So where that comes in there, then a line comes in here like this. And maybe that makes him look like he has this huge sort of overhang goiter. Okay. Not sure. Yeah, that like that like the eyelid, and he's got the top part. Maybe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm liking him a lot more. Now let's get the shell in there. 
try to keep that angular feel right. Let's go with center line. Maybe the shell comes down here, and then it angles this way, and then maybe it angles back down. Right? Okay. See, I like him a lot now. He's getting, he maybe just had to go over him a couple more times, you know, much more prehistoric looking. And that's sort of what I was originally wanting to aim for with this guy. Yeah, he's fun. Push a little bit of that silhouette, get it to pop there a little bit more. Hold on, I got a squiggly in there and that shouldn't be in there. Should be a crisp line on him. There we go. All right, almost done. Okay. Yeah, I like him a lot. In fact, I want to go over this line a little bit more, get it a little bit more pronounced. He's, you know, he's like definitely descended from alligators, right? Get some little texture build up here under his chin. And he's got more scale. Scales. Not scale, like transferring scale. There's something like that, okay? And then for his eye, his eye can just rest low. On him like that, like he's sort of looking down. That's okay for right now. And then maybe his feet indent outward that way. And then here they just go um, just sort of angled back. Outward, and the angle back a little like that. Maybe his toes are like the same, like the shell, mimic the same shapes, right? All right, like that is cool. What a difference between the other guy and then this. I want to push that shape back there. Same thing, angle forward, push back, a little bit of a curve, okay? Angle forward, push back. I know it would probably be a little bit bigger than that, but I'm going to take the license to uh, distort it just a little bit, okay? And get that last toe in there, all right? I like that angular effect of his 
shell. That's something I could go back onto a little bit later and play a little bit more with, you know. That adds a lot more to him, him as a character. Could have a horn. No, that's overkill. I could have a couple horns. Um, I'll venture into that later. I want to leave him alone so I could finish this demo. So that's pretty cool, right? I like what, what I have developed there. Let's take him. Let's copy and paste him and put him in our group. Okay. Let's copy him and then let's turn him off real quick. Let's hide that layer. And we'll go ahead and we'll hide this layer underneath it. Okay. And we'll come back up to that key layer and we'll make it visible right there. Uh-oh. Let's try it again. Hi. There we go. And now I like him much better than that guy right there. So maybe I just needed to go over my, my sketch, right? Boom. Delete him. Let's paste in our new guy here. And let's move him over. Let's get him position. Let's scale him down. Okay. There we go. All right. So um, I've been on this demo for what, like an hour and 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Um, I forget on the recorder. But look at that. I like that. I have six good reads right here that I could really develop even more and go over. I really like these. They're all different characters. And, you know, to me, what's really cool is how I got there is that they were just fun sort of experimentations. Let me match this color. It's right here. Give me a second. I'm like hitting the color picker like I'm in Photoshop, but I'm not in Photoshop. Okay, here. So let me go in. Let me tone this guy real quick. And that's what's great is it Sketchbook Pro. You know, you, I really like the drawing quality of it. It's really fantastic. But now I could take a drawing that's done in here. It's This is at, uh, 11 by 17, 200 DPI. And then I could transfer that easily to Photoshop to a 300 DPI file. I can make it a little bit larger, you know, increase the image size. Then I can get in there and start painting and really having a lot of fun. And that's absolutely fantastic approach. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Let me get that little block in there. Let's get that little part of his chin under here. And just get some of those little wiggly wagglies hanging from his face there. Okay. So give me a minute here. Let's go over this, right? Let me just erase out some of these negative shapes in here. Boom. There we go. Okay. Go around some of this real fast. Okay. There we go. So that's my next guy. Oh, take off the eye. I want the eye to be white to pop out a little bit. Now, remember I was talking about going over it like a quick rough pass again. This is what I would do. So I have that color marked. So if I come back here at a little bit lighter, I'm on another layer above this. And what I can do is come back down to like one of the smaller markers. Oops, not that marker right there. Let me go back. Um, the thicker one. There we go, like this. And I just can sort of come across here and hit a couple parts and make that pop a little bit more. Where I like to do that sometimes is like little areas of detail that I might have, like right in there. Um, here. Sorry. Uh, do this fast. So here, let's, let's do it a minute, right? Just sort of come over some of these. And the values might be a little strong, but you know what? It's on another layer, so that's okay. I can thin them down in a minute. I can take my eraser, get the back of the leg there, back there, and that's a little bit... Let me thin it down now. Okay. That gets him to pop a little bit. See, just real quick passes, nothing too fancy, right? to separate out the values a little bit more. I haven't spent too much time on that whatsoever. And that's it. See how it just pops a little bit more of the values in there? 
I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here. I wanna get in between some of that shell, get that area to pop a little. Okay, what's great is I did that really quickly on another layer, right? Yes. So that means since it's on another layer, and look at the difference. See what it adds? It adds a lot to it. Just those little value adjustments. And now what I can do, this is great for like your rough presentation of a character um, to get it out or an environment too. And so now that I have that in there, what I can do is I can erase a little bit if I want to. So I can come over here to the eraser tool. Or you also have like the blur tool and stuff. Um, and if I double click on that, see it's soft erase, the size, I can do the amount erased. Let's say I drop that down to like 10% right now. I mean, sorry, you can see that on the recorder. There it is. You can see that a little bit better. And so now if I close that and I come in here, and if like if I have a little bit of overspill, um, if I hit something that was a little bit too strong of a value, you know, I can just retract a little bit from what I have there. Like I have that right there. So I just go over that. And it's really soft, easy. And it just makes the characters pop a little bit more, right? Doesn't it? It's just a real quick, easy approach to getting the values out. And look at the difference. You know, there they are. So that's it. That's what we want to get to. You don't have to go over and do this level. I just personally, that's personal choice. I like having that because if I print that out and show it, it just, it, it's just those little values help pop some of the textures. So now and out of on, not only have I refined the shape in this demo, right? I've also gone in and uh, squashed and stretched some of the shape, figured out the eyes, a little bit of the personality, revised a couple. And look, I have six solid characters I can run with now, and then I could do a couple passes on each of those to see where it takes me, and then I could start getting into posing. And when I'm talking about posing, taking the character and having them in an action situation. I mean, what would a turtle look like if he jumped from a branch? What would it look like if he was balancing on a ball or standing on all four legs or, you know what I mean? Just to have fun and try to pose them. But for right now, you know, this was really what I wanted to do because when I, when I come over here, let me drop this level and commit to this, move it down below. So if I come over here, you know, and if I take all this off right now and just remember, you know, just where we started, right? I mean, that's where we left off. Oops, sorry, is right there. So look at that. They were rough. They were rough. They weren't defined. But that's all right. That's part of the process. But now, as I come in and I leave this level and I venture over to oops, what I do and I venture over to here, much more definition and a lot more direction for me to go in. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good time drawing. We'll see you soon. Bye.